Well, we're looking at the underside of Brady's van that has the first actual finished skid plate on it. And we've got Nate and Brady here next to me. And we're going to, I guess, try to do a, uh, a, a verbal walkthrough. It's a director's cut. Yeah, pretty much. So you can kind of see on the underside, here we're looking at the forward attachment point on the new 2010 cradle. You can see it attaches with the four bolts on either side. It's got extra bolts in there, provisional bolts for provisions, whatever, whatever else what, yeah. Well, that's one thing you'll see. We put these holes all over these things because we have an idea that we're probably going to use them later on, even if we don't know on what yet. But it's, it's working out to be... Uh, a wise thing to do. It's three eighths inch thick steel plate, and it really is pretty, pretty rugged. It's got to be the most rugged skid plate I've ever seen, actually, <laughs> without a doubt. Yeah, even Jeep stuff I've seen is, is not that thick. Yeah, usually you can't do something that thick because something that's going to be as massive as a typical skid plate is going to be, you know, it's going to weigh 300 pounds. But obviously in this case, since it's so narrow, it's not really that bad. But it offers nice protection for that uh, crank pulley and the entirety of the underside of the motor and the oil pan. And uh, then you can see that forward set of bolts there is where the, the forward skid plating is going to run, going from that set of bolts where the, the plates will actually meet up with each other and go forward to the front of the transmission there and then hook up with the, the forward drive shaft plates. And, that, and to, to protect the transmission. That'll be coming soon enough. Um, but it'll all be working with this stuff. And you can see with the 2010 cradle plus the skid plate, and then if you can imagine the forward skid plate, you really could rock the entire underside of the van off of whatever you want. And up until the point that you're tumbling off a cliff and it doesn't matter anyway, I think it's going to put up with it. Those are the three bolt points for the rear of the cradle there. Uh, you can get into those holes with a 15 millimeter socket and then it uses an M10 bolt to go through with backing plates on the back side and then the rear bracket there and the lighting up from that side is kind of bad but the bracket actually catches the lip of the body so the bolts are actually just holding the bracket to the van. There you can kind of see it right there yeah. you can kind of see where it, it's actually the cross, oh and that's the turbo too <laughs> but there's it, it's catching that cross member so it's actually not the bolts and shear that are, that are supporting it Yep. There you can see a pretty decent shot of it. The bracket actually bends 90 underneath it. Yeah, there's another shot of those bolts. It's, the lighting's kind of bad. You can't see the backing plates. I think now we're into the testing. Yeah. This is the te This is who shot this? Nate? Um, Brady. You shot this. Not Brady. Did no, I think I did this one. Yeah. So this is the... And actually, this is the last rev. This isn't the rev we just saw, which is the final rev, because this doesn't have the extra holes for the... Uh, there's another shot of that bracket. Yeah, the, really the, the two skid plates are basically the same, they're just slightly different shapes. Uh, the, the newer one is slightly wider to protect all the motor. And then you can see the bolt holes, and you can see that weld line are and slightly different. Not, yeah, and that's not in the other one, this is a prototype one. And actually the bracket's slightly different too. Right. So this is a big... Mama rock yep. So then I, I kind of get the van set up here. I come on out, I take a look, make sure things are lined up properly. Then I end up locking up the rear dip and the front dip. And then I just shove the van up onto the rock. And if you watch the wheels, you'll see the motion of the wheels is kind of irregular, you know, kind of bouncing forward and back. And uh, that's because there's no weight on them because they're in the air and you'll see the skid plate doesn't even flinch. So that was me looking at it, climb back in, pull forward, pull back, and just nail it. Good. Usually that's where most folks would go, oh wait, I'm hitting something. <laughs> you might try that. <laughs> But I mean, actually, that's pretty remarkable because a single giant point, like, you know, pretty tall, and being able to get the entirety of the back end of the van and all its weight up on something like that, and A, having a smooth enough path where you're actually sliding along it, 
And then B, I mean, if you imagine even just like a stock synchro, the entire skid plate's wrecked. The exhaust is wrecked. Oh, your you're, engine has a hole in it. Yeah, too. I mean, it's going to, yeah, the, the oil pan's going to break, and then you're, you're done. Oh, this is good too. Where's this? Is where it's the a spark. slow motion, and there's actually a spark. <laughs> yeah, the spark of the skid plate. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. So we're finally confident enough with this thing that, and this is all. Yeah, it just scratches. There's actually no dents, and. Uh, did a nice job taking the uh, powder coat off, but... Well, actually, that's just 415. Oh, it's 415. Yeah. So, yeah, I figure, you know, the first few prototypes we got without powder coat on them, but... Uh, Either way, I mean, you, you're going to scratch it up, you're going to pull well, the... Yeah, that's the whole on. point. Yeah. So, if you really want to be meticulous, carry a small can of 415 and sure. brush it up, and then you can keep track of all your new scars. Or it's not like that thing's going to rust through either. It's not going to rust through, so... Nope. And then uh, uh, the other thing that to notice for the guys with AC, and you can't see it in this one, you can see it in the beginning of the video, is you'll see the holes for the provisional, the, the, the AC compressor uh, shroud, which will be available sometime as well uh, shortly in the future here as well. So, But uh, you can see because of the 2010 mount, because of the... the the uh, 2010 cradle, we get this really low clearance or high clearance pan and cradle with all this kind of strength without actually sacrificing stuff, which is usually what you have to do if you want any kind of decent skid plate. Kick ass departure angle.